I made a gun that shoots planes. Let me explain. The Easter Bunny recently got me this Fly AF toy gun that shoots foam planes, and it actually works pretty well. It can knock over an empty can and box like none other. The planes end up only going like 20 feet, which would be nice if I were a five-year-old, but I'm now almost six years old mentally, so I need more power. Go over there and try to catch this. I began my build by borrowing a 4x2 from my neighbor's backyard and started tracing an outline of what I thought a plane shooter should look like. I tried to look up an image of a plane shooter for inspiration, but all I got was myself on a watch list. I cut out both the handle and the body of the gun and realized this thing is actually giant, but it looks pretty cool. Next I needed to finish the wood because it was pretty rough from the cuts. I don't have much experience in finishing large wood like this, so I had to call your mom for some pointers. Yeah. Back and forth, that's it. And that actually worked. Everything is nice and smooth now. Since the skeleton was now done, I needed to work on the launch system for the planes. The toy gun uses rubber bands as its plane launching method, but since my gun will be much more sophisticated than a child's toy, I'll be using giant rubber bands. I installed these wheel bearings on the front of the runway, which allowed the band to be stretched farther while staying under tension at all positions. After that, I wanted to see how powerful the band would be at full draw, but it turns out all I've made thus far is a weapon that endangers your future lineage. I was just putting the body of the rifle on this table, and apparently the natural predator of the wooden handle is the concrete floor. Now I needed a trigger system, and my meaty digits simply weren't strong enough to hold the carriage. Instead, I used the usual tools available to a convict and filed down some claw-like triggers. Except that I forgot both triggers need to move simultaneously. I didn't like that design anyway. So I kept it simple stupid and used a slotted angle piece to hold the carriage in place. I then 3D printed a little piece that goes on the carriage and lovingly embraces the plane. At this point I was jonesing for some hot plane launching action and set up a little test, thinking that the foam plane wouldn't be hurt by hitting anything. Oh good lord. I was wrong. The tail ripped off just from the force of the launch and the cockpit and electronics exploded when it hit the freezer door. Does anybody know if I have to file an FAA incident report for this? Okay, back to the new trigger design. I decided to go with a simple trigger mechanism that would just push the carriage out of its locked position. I then mounted an arm on the side of the body to leverage the trigger up and decided to test it out. First firing with my trigger mechanism. Here we go. But it was too thin and I couldn't get enough force press down on it, so I had to use my trusty file and got it on the first try. Oh, and I forgot it did that. This time I bent the trigger arm to give me a little handle to push down on, but it still wasn't enough. I left the trigger issue for someone else to figure out and needed to stop the launch system from coming back and hitting me. So I installed these stops on the side of the runway to prevent the band from looping under the barrel after launching. I think I fixed the trigger issue, and now hopefully I won't get shot by my, um, look like this maybe. I wasn't sure what I was more surprised at, the fact that my trigger worked, or that I saw my 3D printed piece evaporate in front of my eyes. That literally exploded. I have no idea where it went. I checked all back here, underneath here. It's like gone, evaporated. So I put a new piece on and tried again. Three, two, one. Okay, I think I know what's happening. This is coming out, stopping, and slamming back into the face of this and totally breaking apart my pieces. These pieces fit suspiciously well into these little nooks and grooves. So I think I'm gonna take these off and just make it so it doesn't hit me. They say the third time's the charm. I say the third time it breaks is when I give up. So this is a do or die moment. Go for launch in three, two, one. Let's ignore what just happened and talk speed here. The runway length is 56 inches long, and the carriage just ran the entire length of the runway and then some in a single frame. That means it was traveling at around 98 miles per hour by the time it reached the end. Some insane speed here. I decided the planes were the problem, and not me. So I got these new planes and had a moment of intelligence, and thought to hot glue the pieces together to make sure it stayed in one piece. After that, it was time to go out and shoot some planes. <laughs> As a reminder, this is how far these planes go with the little toy gun. Eh, decent. These are the bigger gliders. I'm just gonna see how far I can throw up my hand. <laughs> Less. Where'd it go? I kept throwing these gliders, but they never flew straight, and I started to have a bad feeling about how they would do when launched. 
First test in three, two, one. I was actually pretty amazed that it worked, but I wanted it to shoot straight. Unfortunately, it never did. It was really good at turning to the right, though. So instead, I figured, why not up? brought extras because I figured this would happen, but now we're down to the last one. <laughs> I bet you've never seen skeet shooting with two planes, and after this you still won't, because we spent half an hour trying to get the planes to collide, but either my gun didn't go off or my plane just didn't want to play with the other. Come on! Well, I think that's the end of that, unfortunately. For my final trick, I wanted to get a slow-mo of the green plane blowing up like the blue one did. Unfortunately, I underestimated the green plane's need for vengeance for what I did to its brother. Thank you everybody for watching. This was a pretty fun project to make. Unfortunately, the planes didn't fly uh, straight very well, but I'm going to chalk that up to the plane being bad, not my gun being bad. Let me know what else you want to see, and thanks for watching. I made a gun. Made a gun. Let me explain. Let me explain.